All right, guys, what's up? <laughs> so my bus broke down and there's no Uber and my Airbnb is not ready. So that's the good stuff. All right, guys, so look, I'm about to head out. I'm heading out to Tela Honduras. We're gonna check that out together. But before I head out, guys, I just gotta show you guys this apartment because I definitely feel like I got catfish. I'm gonna put some videos up here before I head out and you guys can tell me because maybe I'm tripping, but I feel like I got catfish. All right, guys, so I just found this little bus stop. Um, give me a sec, I'll be right back. So guys, like I was saying, I found this bus stop now. This wasn't the one that I came to the terminal to get to tell for. It was another one, but this one was like almost identical. So I stopped, I talked to the lady. She said this one would get me there at the same time. And this one, I actually picked this one because it leaves like 30 minutes before the other one. So the trip to Tella is said to be about an hour and a half, I think. Two hours, hour and a half. So yeah, so I just picked this one. Hopefully it's the same thing. Oh, this bus is a little smaller than <laughs> this one a little smaller than the other one it should be good though hopefully uh hopefully it's not that bad but whatever i'm riding with the people today doing it taking it back old school let's do it uh <laughs> all right guys what's up <laughs> so my bus broke down i got to the city and there's no uber and my airbnb is not ready so that's the good stuff <laughs> nah but i gotta say it um anytime there's complaints when you talk to me you gotta end it with something good so i always say well what's good it's a nice day and it's only a 15 minute walk so let's get it we're gonna explore this town a little bit let's go I got so like I said it's been a pretty treacherous pretty treacherous day got up this morning I got a good amount of sleep but I feel like after that it was all downhill so you guys are gonna see my bus broke down um, I guess the good thing about it is I made it about three quarters I only had like so Tela is about an hour and a half from uh, the capital, San Pedro Sula, and I made it pretty far. Made it about 30 minutes away, and a bus broke down. So, well, let me start before that. Actually, what had happened was, let me keep my voice down. It can get treacherous quickly out here. So actually, guys, what had happened was, um, I, I checked the scene. Show you guys, I want you guys to at least see a little bit of the city inside the city beyond the beaches that's probably what we're gonna name this this uh, vlog beyond the beaches um but yeah i got on the wrong bus i actually took like a wawa um and basically a wawa is like a van that does a trillion stops just keep stopping i asked the lady te va directo te va directo para, para tela let's go straight to tela she told me yeah well she told me like two stops but what it really was is a uh, like a community bus. So everybody hopped on and kept hopping on. Vendors and all that. Real stuff you'll see like in uh, Caribbean countries. So that was like the start of my fun day. Um, then like I said after that, 
got pulled over. Well, we kept we kept going weird. Like I could smell I could smell the the smell of like um of like gasoline or like something wasn't right with the car. It was vibrating and stuff. But I'm like, who knows? Maybe this is how it goes out here. But I just kept it pushing. Boy, us. I just kept it pushing. And boom, out of nowhere. Homie said everybody gotta get off. So hopped off. And luckily there was a bus. There was a bus right behind us. And I'm gonna try to put in uh, videos and stuff for that. There was a bus right behind us that saved us. Now I didn't know if I was gonna get on that bus or not. Because one, I don't know how many um let me check if I'm going the right way. Lord, please let me be going the right way. Okay, I'm going the right way. So yeah, like I was saying. Um Yeah, that was crazy. I didn't know if I was gonna get on or not, because preference was of course going to the women and children, and there was a lot of them. <laughs> there was a lot of them. Like 75% of the bus was women and children. So I was like, okay, I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. Everybody got on. I was one of the last to get on. I didn't want to be a I didn't want to be a jerk skip everybody so but anyway um i was hoping to make it here by 1 30. it's two o'clock i hit the lady up that got the airbnb and she's like oh yeah the guests are just checking out yeah i guess you should check that i live in a car but anyway uh i just want to tell you guys about my experience so far in honduras it's been a interesting experience a uh, uh, very similar to uh dr very similar to dr if you guys been in dr you probably even see the infrastructure it's similar to island infrastructure especially here because this is like a coastal town but even in um even in other places like in san pedro sula they also have like uh, apartments like this So these people don't see too many people walking on foot <laughs> but yeah i could have ordered a taxi it probably been like three bucks but the way the city is set up is super easy to uh to walk around and i love exploring stuff sometimes but pretty packed pretty light so i could just maneuver so keep it going So guys, tell Honduras. I heard some good things about it. There's some really pretty places out here. I don't know if we'll be able to see them because I'm here for such a short time. Only got two days here. Um, we will be going to the city beach. Not the most beautiful beach, but nice little beach. Hopefully I can get out there today. My plan is to check in about 2.30. Hopefully it's really smooth. Um, hopefully I can just go straight in and walk straight out. My beat, my uh, Airbnb is super close to the beach and hopefully I can just uh, drop my bags off, throw my trunks and go. Let me check how far, how much further I gotta go. out here looking like a snack with this big backpack on not the good type people not the good type of snack looking like the bad type somebody who who about to be on the menu got my my most accurate speeding shoes on right now i'm making moves Go back to Airbnb. Yeah, check this out. Give me a second, guys. The way this thing. Okay, I see it gotta be over here. 
Just 10 minutes. So, what else about our daughter so far? Yeah, a lot of it is like the, uh, the food, the wild was, um, the diversity is very diverse as far as like, you see all different type of colors of the rainbow here. Talk to you guys a little bit about Garifunas and that whole uh, community. And yeah, I'm just checking out the city real quick. It should be 10 minutes. I'll hit you guys back in a minute once I, uh, once I uh, get to the Airbnb and show you guys that. Hold on. Yeah, so it's funny. People say, you're always on vacation. This don't look too much like a vacation to me. You're always on vacation. It's, it, it's that they don't watch the videos and they just see this part. I mean, they, they, they just see the beaches and stuff and they don't see this part. So, that's always funny. She's getting a little more active. Baleadas. I can't believe, guys, I have not tried a baleada yet. I'm going to try one tomorrow. I promise. I promise you guys. They're super strange. Like, so, and, uh, for example, in, in San Salvador, so baleadas is the national dish out here in Honduras. And they look like pupusas and everything. So I'm like, all right, these are like pupusas. But for whatever reason, they only serve them like it's very specific times, which is really different than how it was in San Salvador. San Salvador, you can get a baleada at any time, like day, night, any time. But everywhere I go, they only have these things during super specific times. I think they would be there, like right here they make them, but they're closed. But I guess it's only in the morning. All right, so safety. I know a lot of you guys are interested in that. You see me? <laughs> you see me in the in the in the world's most dangerous country, in the world in the murder capital. I'm out here. If I had to give it a rating, one to ten, of how safe I feel, like a seven. You can never underestimate the people, you know? But what's going on? I think uh, I gotta take a left here. Hold on, guys. I just walk with confidence and try to. Uh... Try to be smart, don't do anything silly. <sighs> Give me a second, guys. I gotta pull up the address. Check out that one. Now it's time to check in this one. Looking right now for my location. Seven minutes still. What the heck? This is strange. Seven minutes. All right, so it should be just a B line. Oh yeah, guys, like I was saying, you can never, um, could never underestimate what's going on in a country if you're not there. But so far, I've been in, I've been telewalking around pretty comfortably. And I've been inside Pedro Sula, walking around pretty comfortably. Now, when I hit a murder capital of the world, I don't care where you at, beach town, tourist town, local, I'm thinking that's gonna be static. But Honduras is nothing like these people say. It is extremely green. I'll put some videos up of just the nature aspect of it. Extremely green, extremely beautiful. I'm starving. Like I said, baleadas. Quick story about baleadas. So. Uh, Spanish lesson too. Anytime, anytime you hear ada or ado, ada or ado, probably something dealing with somebody being something. Um, so when you hear mariada, it combines 
a bullet. So I think it's two, uh, it's two, it's two stories behind this food. Even the lady who used to make them got shot. And they call her Baleada because she's a shot person. Shot, the shot one. And she died. Uh, and they named them that after her. Or she made them and got shot and kept working after she got shot. So doesn't help with the whole uh Andorras isn't that dangerous <laughs> uh, story. Right, we're gonna keep it going. We almost to the spot. Oh, you guys get to see me checking and all that stuff. Gotta keep my eyes open. Any little noise. Like you guys might be thinking like, I don't see anybody, it's not dangerous. That's, that's not how it work here. I told you guys before, in a lot of Latin countries, you don't gotta see nobody. It's, it's like the Fast and Furious. All you hear is that engine. And they cut in front of you. They guns out, they professionals, bro. Professionals. Whew. Nice little walk. I try to get my exercise in during, uh, during vacation, at least my cardio. A lot of businesses are closed. Interesting. But yeah, I didn't know there was no Uber here. So I'm glad I stayed close to the beach. That would have been very annoying trying to get over. Let me see how far that got. One block away. All right, guys, let me get there and I do that. All right, guys, I'm here. They go back to me saying Airbnb need to put a picture up of this. Of how to enter these places or how they look. All right, guys, so I'm here. Check in. And I'll show you this place a little later. But I'm in here. Hope you guys have fun walking around, seeing a little bit of Taylor outside of the beach. I'll get you guys later.